All right, OpenAI has done it again. The creators of ChatGPT released this super cool app called Sora. So Sora is a new model that creates videos out of text, super realistic videos. In fact, you won't believe these videos are actually AI generated. Check out the first example right here. Now this is going to be a quick review of these videos. But I'm going to be showing you some of the issues that you might be able to spot if you want to know it's actually AI generated video. This is like the first generation of the AI videos. This means the future, future videos might be even harder to, to, to start or harder to know whether it's actually AI generated or not. How the AI, AI video generator tools work is you simply enter a prompt or text instruction tell it to create a video in this case in this case a stylish woman walks down at Tokyo, Tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon and animated city signage but still uh, and so on and so on but still you can see the quality of this thing is super Anyways, so let's see the next look at this next one. This is several the text prompt down here. Let's take a look at the next one. This is this is a, a movie trailer featuring the adventures of 30 year old spaceman wearing a red wool netted motorcycle helmet. But take a look at the quality of this first. Next now let's take a look at some other type of videos you notice we can create drone shots this is super real drone shot right here then we have 3d animated videos 3d animated scenes next is paper paper craft style a gorgeously rendered paper craft world next we have some kind of a wild, wild, wildlife something uh, this is a close-up shot of a Victoria crown pigeon next we have something uh, it's like also a, a 3d render photorealistic close-up video of two pilot ships battling each other as they sail inside a cup cup of coffee this, I think this is also like a 3d render but you could achieve that without 3d now we have a young man at his 20s sitting on a piece of cloud in the sky. Let's scroll through and see more videos. Now we have a historical footage of California during the gold rush. Anyways, next is a close up view of a glass sphere that has a zen garden within it. There is a small dwarf in the sphere raking the zen garden creating patterns in the sand. So I think you can get an idea of how this thing really works. Simply type in the text of what you want to create. Then the AI video generator tool creates what you exactly typed in or even better. Now, for example, this scene right here, if you wanted to shoot a scene like this, you probably need a very, very expensive camera, a very expensive lens, in this case, 70 millimeter with this kind of depth of field. You really need a cinematic camera. So this is an extreme close-up of a 24-year-old woman's eye. Next is uh, another 3D animation, cartoon kangaroo disco dance. <laughs> Next is uh, a beautiful homemade video showing the people of Lagos. Okay, nice one. People of Lagos, Nigeria, in the year 20. This is a 20 in the future, but you notice this guy is what actually disappeared. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at the next one here a petri dish with a bamboo forest growing within it. This tiny red pandas running around. Okay. Wow, take a, take a look at this one. I imagine you wanted to show this old school vintage television uh, scene like this. Where would you get all these kinds of TVs? A camera rotates 
around a large stack of vintage televisions showing different programs, 1950s sci-fi movies, horror movies, etc. Okay, we have another 3D animation of small round fluffy creature with big ex expressive eyes. Nice, lovely. All right, so we have uh, we have more power in the Sora to be able to define or to know the world, the surroundings of the world, and how they and, and how everything is positioned. So you notice you can create objects in motion can be able to tell how everything is supposed to align trees, the mountains. This is how far we have gone with AI. Now you can even tell the reflections. Everything you notice when the lady goes in the dark. Now again, you still notice that some people are going to disappear. Right, like down here in the left hand corner. But still, the quality of this thing is super, super quality. This is really cool. This is another drone camera shot. So we have a large orange octopus seen resting on the bottom of the seafloor. Blah, blah. And this flock of paper airplanes flutter through this jungle so these are all the prompts these are all examples of prompts that you can use for your ai content so you still notice some of the glitches but this is this is the start remember sora is not yet it's not yet actually released to the general public it's still in the testing phase mm. They haven't, they haven't like actually launched it. They're still getting feedback from professionals, from educators, and some creators. Just to select few. So imagine this is what it creates right now. But again, you'll notice that the cars, you notice the cars on the left hand side, they disappear in the trees. <laughs> but take a look at the quality of the shot and how the camera is able to follow through this this guy is working so the prompt is beautiful snowy tokyo city busting the camera through the bustling city street following several people enjoying the beautiful snowy weather etc next is we have a stop motion animation of a flower growing out of a, a window sill of a suburban house nice now that would be really complex to create especially if you don't have proper 3d 3d modeling and animation skills but cinema 4d could pull pull that off with a few <laughs> not a few clicks <laughs> anyway so we have another one right here for the story of a robot's life in a cyberpunk setting next we have uh, extreme close-up of Alan now take a look at the quality of this man this is beyond the high quality for ai now we also have the power to create different shots in one video you you notice we have a wide shot and a close shot, close up in one video just created with ai now this one is a silhouette animation some other kind of animation like 2d but you can even make it 3D if you want. So you notice the transitions from one shot to another, from the wide shots to close-ups. And we have 3D animation. This is this is 3D animation. But it can even be video editing. This is also visual effects. Can be used as visual effects. So this is New York City submerged like Atlantis. Fish whales, sea turtles and sharks swim through the streets of New York another one right here very very lovely a litter of golden retriever puppies playing in the snow their heads pop out of the snow covered in lovely all right so let's look at uh, what else now we have seen some of the high quality ai generated videos sora can create for you but now Let's take a look at some of the few glitches 
that uh, Sora, Sora still has to figure out and fix. Now, for example, this guy is supposed to be walking frontwards, but he's actually running <laughs> backwards. And if you notice, the the loop in this running gear yeah, is not properly generated. Those are some of the AI glitches in Sora, and probably in many other AI apps. If you if you saw the video for if you saw the Will Smith video, Will Smith eating spaghetti, <laughs> and you see this this one, uh, this other AI generated video, there is a very huge, very huge difference in the quality and the improvement of AI generated videos. So we expect even better quality in more years to come. Because take a look at this. <laughs> nice to know you can create this by simply typing in a prompt. Notice this. So this this prompt was intended to say basketball through hope, then explodes. Oh, actually, so that is uh, a, a glitch in the morphing, 3D morphing. Oh, physical modeling issues probably. We have another one right here. One of these guys just came out of nowhere, and then and then afterwards disappeared. If you look closely, you'll notice the glitches in AI generated videos. But I'm sure they are yet to fix all this. Now, especially the hands in this one. If you take a close look to the hands in this in this one here for this grandma's birthday. But it's really cool to know you can create that all this by simply typing. Now I'm sure you have seen this one on CNBC. The camera directly faces colorful buildings in Italy. And adorable Dalmatian looks, blah blah blah. Another three D animation, three three D digital render style. An adorable happy otter confidently stands on the surfboard wearing a yellow life jacket. Okay, we have another wild wildlife sort of AI generated video. This close up shot of chameleon showcases its striking color. And then we have this one. This one is uh, very popular on Twitter, especially on Twitter. A Kogi vlog itself in tropical mode. Very nice. Now we have this one. This one is my favorite because if you want to pull off something like this, you would really need, I think, a really expensive camera for this kind of depth of field while in motion. Anyway, so we have another one right here, aerial view Santorin during the blue hour. Very cold drone shot, very smooth. Okay, <laughs> and we have a superhero from some other multiverse. He had fight with the Flash in some future series. <laughs> it's probably going to knock down our satellites, <laughs> the Starlink satellites. We have now this is really beautiful I like the colors on this one we have this one we are imagine you wanted to create a scene like this you would need to buy a ticket and go to this place and also wait for the timing so that's the power of sora ai text to video tool now this was like a movie notice the credits down here the executive producers and the coders behind this thing so this is what it can do. This is where we have reached with the AI. So leave some comments and let me know what you think of this. Is it uh, a bad thing or a good thing to have? Anyways, also remember to uh, leave some comments, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell notification button so that uh, you don't miss the next open AI tutorial. Also check out the other AI videos like DID and uh, CapCut tutorial on this uh, YouTube channel. Make sure you also check out my website for detailed guides on how to use these tools and, and also the alternatives, the alternative AI tools that you can use for AI video generation, text to image, text to speech, all those tools you can find them on my website. Check it out mugabiimran.com. See you in the next video.